everyone, it's Anya from DiviLover and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a nice fixed navigation in Divi, a section that will slide down from the top of the page and will stay there when you scroll down. Let's get to work. So this is the demo page I've created and as you can see it has this big header at the top and if I scroll down a smaller narrower a navigation appears. Scroll back up and I have again my big header. So this solution uses two separate sections so you can have full control over how to style the big header and also the fixed uh, narrower header. So I've made a, a, a couple uh, different headers for you to download as a JSON file. As you can see, the fixed navigation can be totally different than what you have as your uh, main header. This solution can also be used as a nice call to action. It doesn't necessarily need to be a navigation, so you can have a nice slide in call to action section. Okay, so let me show you how exactly I did that, how it's done. Let's recreate uh, the same effect. This is an empty page. It uses the default TV navigation. It just has some content so I am able to scroll down. And using the new theme builder I will add a custom header to this page. I could assign a global header but I have a couple of different uh, tutorials there so uh, let's use this only on uh, this page specific okay so build custom header I'll have my uh, fixed navigation let's start with with that I have it saved in my uh, library Let's remove this default section and basically all is necessary here is a custom CSS class called DL fixed header. Uh, the second class I use here is for some additional CSS for the mobile version. When you uh, open the demo page on your phone, you'll see that it it looks uh, quite nice so that's why this is here but this is all you need for this effect to work okay so let me save that and also save changes in the in the team builder and now my page should have this uh, different uh, style navigation but it's uh, it's not fixed yet. We need to add uh, some CSS. This is my uh, child theme style sheet, but you can add your CSS in the theme options or even in the code module. So all uh, we really need is set the position of this element to fixed. Let's make sure it stays at the top. It's full width and also the Z index property. It needs to have a high value so it's on the top of other elements on the page. I will save that file here and refresh my page here. And as you can see, it is fixed. All we have to do is um, deal with the admin bar but uh, when the admin bar is enabled the body uh, has an additional CSS class added which is called admin bar as you can see here so we can target that and uh, add a CSS specific to page for logged in users. If we inspect the admin bar, 
you can see it has 32 uh, pixels it's 32 pixels tall so we can uh, our CSS could look like this if the element is inside a body with uh, this CSS class the top position should be 32 pixels great but this actually changes on smaller screen sizes when we go to 682 i think uh, sorry 782 admin bar height is different it's actually 46 now so we'll add a media query to target screen sizes with the maximum width of 782 pixels and now the same thing uh, and it's 46 lovely and for I think oh here when the below 600 I think the admin bar is no longer fixed so we can uh, fix our header at the top back at the top okay that should do it but we need to make sure that these styles don't apply to uh, our section when we're editing it in the builder we only want that to be applied on the front end so all our settings are accessible and and so on and to achieve that we'll also use a custom class which is added to the body element when we are editing a page in the in the div builder the etfb um, class is added so we want to target our element when it's not uh, using that class so we can use the not selector not et hyphen fb again the same thing for the admin bar not et fb and i will change this and that okay that's great and now uh, i also want to move my section away from the view i will use transform property because it's uh, better to animate transform property for, for performance so transform um, translate y minus 100 percent that will move it to the top by its height and i will also add the transition so when i decided to show it back it will appear with uh, smoothly okay when i save that and refresh my page here my section is uh, is gone that's good and now back in the team builder let me refresh that page again i'm going to add the default not fixed uh, section it's also in my library i'll move it to the top and that's it let me save that Save the team builder just to be sure. And now my page should have this big header. And my fixed header is hidden and we'll use uh, some JavaScript 
to make it slide down when we scroll. Back to my child theme. I have a JavaScript file here and inside the jQuery document ready function will run a function on the scroll event for the window object. I'm going to define two variables. First one is, uh, I will call it top offset. And this is the scroll top value um, for the window uh, object. And the second one is our uh, section. Let's call it fixed section. And this is an element with our DL fixed header class. Now, if the top offset is higher than 150, we'll add a class to our element. The L scrolled or else we'll remove that class. And that's it. That's all you need. I will save that. And this won't do anything yet because we need to add a CSS for this DL scrolled class. So when our fixed header will have DL scrolled class, we'll transform it back to its origin, uh, original uh, position, which is zero. Okay, let's save that and refresh the page. Yep, there it is. As you can see, 150 in this case may not be enough because it shows too early. So back here, if I change this to maybe 350 and refresh, That's better. And if you are a DV Toolbox user, you don't need to worry about adding any custom code. All you need to do is navigate to DV Toolbox, header, and enable custom fixed header. Define the scroll offset, the number of pixels uh, you need to scroll down for the fixed navigation to appear, and just use the custom CSS class. Uh, on your sections. There is additional class available for uh, just the fixed header, the one that always uh, sticks to the top of the page. I hope this was useful. Feel free to copy all the code you need from my blog post and also download the free sections for your headers. And I'll see you next time.